hey hey welcome back to part two of this vlog thank you guys for tuning back into part two so this was our day out in camps bay what a beautiful area it is in cape town so come along with us into camps bay Our first stop in Camps Bay was Codfather Seafood and Sushi. So the concept behind the Codfather is fresh fish from the ocean. So you choose the fish that you want. You sort of like a point and kill, but it's like you point, they weigh the fish for you and they grill it or fry it for you and serve it with the choice of fries or rice, you name it. Hi, my name is Karen. Lation Amen. Remember that name? Lation Amen. Guys, I went through the name. That used to be her stage name. Her name back in the day. Stacia. Like in the Christmas stage. Like Stacia. And the other was Trinity. Trinity Karen. Trinity Karen. The other one was Lay Solstice. Oh my word. And then Lation A Lation And then Yep, for me. Yep. This is where the wine tasting action I'm gonna yes, get. This will be the second one, we're gonna get none. And you will spark you more and think about the rose or the brut. Which one was the one I had to say? You know what I can do? I can do pure royal. Are these are dinner plates? Ooh, and they're warm. Oh, Ooh, that's very hot. Nice and hot. I even smell the heat from these. Wait, so she's like, let me take a scout, guys. I think I want to do that too for them. Wow. <laughs> so that's what they mean by it's too hot. It's for yeah. cooking, I think. Because it's the hot Oh wow, more food's coming. And then one just in the center because we're sharing right in the center. How was your meals, ladies? Absolutely glorious. Y'all look full too. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so happy you guys enjoyed that. It was really good. You look stunning. I sure do, don't I?
day number six good morning world good morning everyone right so today i know the other day i said we were going to table mountain but that's not what happened so we didn't end up going to table mountain the other day it is what we are now doing today and um we're doing a number of things today we're going up table mountain we're gonna go to the penguins which is simon's town boulders beach and party with the penguins can I get a yay yeah, yay yeah, over there? Can I get a yay yeah, yay? Yeah. yeah, anyways, yeah. We're gonna go see the penguins. So, we are actually on record time leaving the house today. It is approximately 8.33 a.m., which is the earliest time we've ever left this house. Um, so it's amazing. So, let's go, guys. We're just about to jump into the car now and make our way. I just sorted that. I just got breakfast just now, so. No one needs to worry about stopping anywhere. I've got coffees, I've got iced tea, we've got everything. All for the journey. Let's go. Table Mountain, we are here. Table Mountain behind. And um, that's the whole of Cape Town underneath. It's about a six minute walk up to the cable carpet that we're walking up to. Let's go. Guys, look at this view. It's so stunning. So, so stunning. the boulders beach colony <laughs> we're looking at about a four minute walk because we started from over there behind that and we're going over there behind that
good morning lovely family today is day number i've lost track i think day number seven or eight the last day and um i'm just putting my shoes on so we can head out uh we are off to where are we off to today today we're doing the colored houses um so that's bow cap and then doing beach day and then just visiting some locals so looking forward to today ending the last day with a number of activities yeah so that's what's pretty much lined up for the day and this is my look for today pretty in pink pretty in pink so let's go let's go okay guys i finally arrived at bow cap i have what was that that was a thunder you heard that i don't hear that it was like thunder i don't hear that uh, not been here Actually, Actually, <laughs> <laughs> have you seen that um a video uh, the meme videos where you hear a sound and you're in the shower and you're like with like soap all like soap your all over hair. your face <laughs> Okay, so as I was saying guys, we've arrived at Bow Cap. Um, so I'm here to see the colored houses because the colored houses are cool and we love cool, right? Yeah, yeah, we love cool. So this person actually runs the Airbnb and they put their little QR code outside their house to say when you walk past here, scan me and it's their little BNB. Wow, we should stay there. We should. You have the colors are flourishing. The colors are glistening. I'm glistening. I'm in happy land. <laughs> If you bring it up once, we've just finished using uh, bow cap, right. sir. We just finished bow cap. Now we're headed off to Musenberg. Can I get it? Woo hoo! At the back there. Can I get a woo hoo at the front here? I'm gonna have to crop that out. <laughs> that's um, like the Indian Ocean side and the water tends to be a lot warmer than the other side of Cape Town um, we're just gonna grab a spot of lunch um, as we have arrived by the beach and there's like so many like lots of food places around as you can see and we are stopping off at the burger shack
it's not beaching today it's freezing cold we're leaving the beach we can't be sat here in this cold weather no unfortunately beach day didn't go according to plan as the tides was super high it was super windy so we just decided to cut the beach day and head on to our next location The next location was the Kailisha Township Tour. A friend of ours drove us around the area and showed us the little hotspots in the Kailisha Township area. Yes. Another one. Ooh. Yes, cow. Yes. Oh, she's hurting. She about to be on somebody's plate. Oh, yes, cow. She's gonna be meets meets. We then parked up and stopped over at Spine Road. It's a local well-known joint where people go for drinks, food, music, shisha, you name it. So we stopped for a few drinks, takeaway, and just for the buy. Good morning my beautiful people um, unfortunately today is um, day number eight nine the last day pretty much and um, I'm leaving Cape Town today unfortunately I've had such an amazing time out here initially I was thinking oh my gosh that's a long time to be in Cape Town but guys um, eight nights is not a long time um, to be out in Cape Town because there's just so much to do there's actually so much on my uh, bucket list um, that I haven't even managed to achieve um, but I've really thoroughly enjoyed each and every single day that we've had out here and as I'm just sitting out here having you know that moment of reflection taking that last breath in of like you know the Cape Tonian air wow um, I'm sure gonna miss this place it has been a very special place um, the people have been lovely I mean I've enjoyed the coffee shop downstairs like they now know like my regular coffee like be that a cafe all oh, my days I really enjoyed my um, oat milk caramel lattes every morning um, what else ocean basket down the road them guys were just so lovely uh, we did eat this you know on several occasions um, and even just like the road trips I've thoroughly enjoyed the road trips that we've done um, driving up to um, Taos River where they have the um, safari game park I really really enjoyed that um, I've never start, seen such what well, I have but it was a really scenic route seeing all the mountains it was just oh my gosh it was breathtaking and you just feel like parking up your car to just have a moment to cry um, I've enjoyed going down south to like Fishhook and Boulders Beach Marysenberg oh my gosh it brings back so many memories um, from my first ever 
visit to Cape Town as a backpacker like in 2015. Cape Town is a special place. Um, what advice would I give to people wanting to come to Cape Town? Just come expecting to have so much fun and um, try book as many, try and have like a big chunk of days out here. Um, because you can do a number of things um, you can squeeze in a lot more things to be honest I mean I didn't get to do like uh, vineyards tours for like wine tasting and that I wanted to go to the deserts to do quad biking and it feels quite safe um, I felt quite safe out here I didn't feel scared or you know like in terms of crime I didn't feel scared or anything I felt quite safe out here yeah until next time Cape Town, it's been absolutely wonderful and yeah and here we are packing our bags getting ready to do that flight back to Joburg and back to London but guys thank you for following me on my Cape Town journey Cape Town this is not the end I will be back someday and we will work on the unfinished business we have so until next time, thank you guys for watching. I'm the Afro Traveler. Remember to like, comment, share and subscribe.